Four-year-old James Dunkley told CYFD caseworkers he was being physically and sexually abused by his mother's different boyfriends. Yet, he wound up back in the home where he eventually was beaten to death. Tonight, we're finally getting a look at how CYFD handled this case. The, de the department, rather, released its own investigation into his murder. It shouldn't have happened. There's no way it should have happened. And it should never happen again to anybody else. A grandfather. How many more kids have to die before we get actual reform at the investigative level to prevent atrocities like this? This is an atrocious case. It, this child should be alive. And attorneys blame CYFD for not doing more to save four-year-old James Dunkley. So what did the department know about the alleged abuse? We've been asking since Dunkley's death in December 2019. More than two years later, CYFD finally released its own investigation into his death, and it shows they knew a lot. Caseworkers looked into four allegations just months before Dunkley's death. June 2019, James tells caseworkers his mother's boyfriend at the time hits him. CYFD placed the boy with his aunt. But by September, he was back with his mother and CYFD was back to investigating. This time, police had been called because the boy was found running around outside late at night and no one was watching him. Dunkley's mother, Krista Cruz, told caseworkers she was moving to live with her friends in these apartments. But the report says Cruz ignored multiple calls from them as they tried to do a home visit. A month later, James discloses three different men allegedly injured him, including his mother's roommate, Zarek Marquez. CYFD told Cruz she had to move out. The report states Cruz lied to caseworkers, telling them she was moving to live with family in Arizona. By November, caseworkers would finally get a hold of Cruz, who admitted she was still living in Albuquerque. December 10th, James is dead. Doctors say he has a skull fracture and is covered in bruises. Police arrested Marquez, who wasn't supposed to be taking care of the boy, in the apartments James wasn't supposed to be living in. Tonight, the department only giving a statement saying, in part, rather than focusing on blame, the department is engaged in a process that will enable it to examine carefully systemic processes and procedures that require change to minimize risk of child fatalities in New Mexico. A wrongful death lawsuit against CYFD details horrific neglect and abuse starting just days after James was born. CYFD has not said if any caseworkers were punished in this case. You can read the department's full statement on KRQE.com. Marquez is charged with intentional child abuse resulting in death and recently agreed to a, a plea deal. Dunkley's mother was also arrested for allowing the abuse. Her trial is expected to begin in December.